Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how to change the blades on this Ryobi AP1301 on Dad It Yourself. So today's project, I'm going to change out the blades on this Ryobi AP1301 planer. And you're saying, wait a minute, AP1301? Isn't that a blue tool planer? Well, yeah, it is a blue tool planer. But I painted this one green so it matched the rest of my Ryobi tools. Not a perfect match. This is the Rust-Oleum Lime Green. Uh, the Krylon Lime Green is actually a better match. So maybe someday I'll repaint this one. Or I will buy the new Ryobi Thickness Planer, which is in stores now. There's a picture of it right there. Uh, either way. But uh, when I redid this printer, I did a video on it. So if you want to check that out, there's a video right there for that. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, before I get started, make sure it's unplugged. Here's the plug. Now I'm going to take off the cover. So there's two blades on this knife and what you do is you push this little red button right here and that'll release the drum and then you can rotate it until the blade is visible and then lock it in place. And you'll see these little nuts, there's seven of them. The planer comes with a specialty tool for this. I have no idea where mine's gone, but an eight millimeter box end wrench works really well. And what you want to do is just get in here and release these nuts by turning it to the right. It may feel like you're tightening it, but you're not. You're actually loosening these. And you just want to loosen these down until they're all free spinning. Like that. So at each end of the blade, there's a little tab right here. And I'm going to use this screwdriver and actually just pop it out. And that'll bring the blade out. And on the other end too, just to bring it out square. So fortunately, blades come two-sided. So here's the side that was in the machine, and here's the new side, and it's still razor sharp. Uh, this unit was built in 2010, and I bought it used, and I would say chances are pretty good that these blades have never been changed. Uh, I've had it about a year. So I'm gonna go ahead and just flip the blade over and put it in. Now, if for some reason you pull yours out and both sides are bad, no big deal because you can buy a set of blades on Amazon for really cheap. I'll, uh, I don't know what the price is off the top of my head, but I'll put it here on the screen somewhere, how much you can get a replacement set for. So off camera, I clean this all up, get all that pitch and tar off of there, and now we just slide the blade right back in again, making sure it's centered. And it slides right in, and then tighten it up with the wrench. So this blade has a positive stop on the back, so as long as it's all the way in, then you should have an even blade. If for some reason you don't trust that, you can use a micrometer or other measuring device just to make sure your reveal on the blade is the same. Let's go ahead and do the other blade now. Go ahead and put the cover back on. Going to give this a wipe down and wax the bed and it'll be ready to go.
as you can tell from the length of this video, it didn't take very long to do this. I'd say maybe 15 minutes. Uh, this is my first time doing it, so next time, hopefully sooner than later, um, I'll be able to do it a lot quicker. I'll have links to all the products I use in this video in the description. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right over here. Thanks for watching. Doubt it yourself.